I don't think anyone expected them to make the change. Um, but we, at the same time, we've been relegated from the championship, and it's it's um, it's unacceptable uh, what's happened. And um, they've decided to go um, and in another direction. And I think what I would say is now that they need to take their time and, and, and make sure that they get the right um, appointment and, and they decide where the club wants to be in, in, in four or five years' time and, and not just in the, in the near future. There's lots of names flying about. Is there anybody that you would really like to see come to Molyneux? Um, I don't know. I think, I think there are a number of managers that have probably already got positions at the moment. Um, I just think I think there are, there are clubs at the moment that are really trying to do things properly. Um, West Bromwich Albion, dare I say, it, are one of them, and um, I think we need to look at the, the whole model of, of, of the club, and, and you need um, it needs to be a sustained push at, at a five-year um, target, and, and it's, it can't just be about um, we want to be there next season. We'll get a manager that will get us there in the short term. It needs to be a long-term view taken, and a manager that's going to come in and play the kind of football that, that the club want to play. Um, and the players that are then brought in match that style of football. If the manager changes, you bring in another manager that, that matches that style of football and I think that's maybe where we've got it wrong since getting rid of Mick McCarthy. How did it feel on the day knowing that that was it? There was no way back. Um, uh, devastating. Yeah, devastating. I, I, we, we, the, fans, the fans were great, actually. Um, they were great. They came down and I think they knew we, we were almost prolonging the inevitable and... Um, and yeah, they were great all afternoon, and we we really did feel for them. Some of the boys came in in tears. It's yeah, it's a bad time. We realised we realised that we messed up, and um, we really need to try and put it right. Come back next season and do whatever we can to get the club back uh, back into the championship first and foremost. What happened? Do you feel in that um, season? I don't know about in the season. I don't think there's one one pinnacle point. I think. Um, I think the two appointments uh, were a million miles apart. Um, the it was, I don't know. It was it, you know. I think the manager that came in, Solback, and came in at the beginning of the season, um, completely different style. Um, I, in my opinion, maybe not suited to the championship. Um, and, and Saunders came in halfway through the season where we were we were struggling. We've, we've got players in the team that have been been battered and and. and on the on the end of, of bad results for a long time now, and uh, you know we really need to, to the, the club needs to make the right appointment, um, and hopefully the manager clear out the players that, that don't want to be around and um, and focus on getting us back there. It was hard seeing some of the tweets, seeing some of the pictures, obviously some of the reports in the paper after the game. Um, you know, just in terms of the fans' frustration, if you like, did you? I mean, do you completely understand that, or do you think it was kind of a bit? Unfair. I think, I, th I think the shout, the chance about Jamie O'Hara were unfair. Um, personally, um, Jamie O'Hara, I thought he had a decent game. He was working hard. He could have had a shot. He, he got um, caught on the ball. Um, and um, you know, Jamie O'Hara, I, I think he gets a lot of unfair criticism at times, maybe because of his things that are going on outside of, of football. But um, he's worked hard for the club and he's done well. Um, and I don't think he deserved that. His reaction, was he shouldn't have, have, have reacted to anything um, and then the minority turned into a majority. Um, however, um, I understand the fans, for we all understand it. We, there, there is no, it, it, it's inexcusable, we have no defence. Um, we shouldn't have been relegated. The squad we have should not have been relegated from this league and every Wolverhampton Wanderers supporter has a right to be really annoyed at all of us and the club. And um, we, you know, it's, it is inexcusable. League One is a hard, hard thing to face, isn't it? As a footballer that's played in the Premier League, back down. There are a lot of players in there that are in the dressing room that, that are hurting and and feel that they have a point to prove. That I think too many of the the bigger players have not performed this season. Mm. I think if six or seven of us that were playing each week had, had performed anywhere near um, the way we should have done, we wouldn't have been. We wouldn't be in this position. We wouldn't have been in that position on the last day of the season or with two weeks to go so we put ourselves in that position um, and there are a lot of players that want including myself that want to put it right and I have a point to prove I want to come back and, and, and have a great season next season and then hopefully get us back up to the championship.